Welcome to today's video. If you are new here, Ika Mango Asanda Rantini and welcome. And happy Easter, Jesu Bugile. Like Christ has risen, our faith and our salvation is confirmed. We serve a God that just does wonders anyways with that said don't forget to like comment and subscribe and welcome to today's video um i just woke up from a very powerful nap of two hours uh yeah that's because i went to mass we had the vigil service uh at church i'm trying to get like proper setup i'm sorry for that um had the visual service from 4 a.m. to 8. I was really, really tired when I came back because I actually went to bed at 11 and woke up at 3. Like I, I was supposed to wake up at 2.30, but I didn't hear the alarms until 3. So it was fast and the furious thereafter. Thank God that there are no cars on the road at 3.20, 3.30 am <laughs> and yeah so anyways i want to talk about fellowship and my journey with the church and being a church not just my particular church but being a church let us speak about it and why do we actually consider it worthy to be going to church we just spent the last five days at church not five days let's see thursday friday and Saturday, the last three days going to church, and one would ask, do I really need to be at church in order for me to be Christian or in order for me to have a proper relationship? Do I need fellowship with other brothers and sisters? And the answer is yes. Um, the Bible is very clear on importance of gathering together. One verse that always pops up is that it says, if any of you gather in my, eight, three or four of you gather in my name, I will be with you as a, four, as a fifth or, or whatever person. But basically, if we gather and when you are gathering or when you are fellowshipping, make sure that you are gathering and going into church where the, the agenda is God. Because there are many uh, churches and many spaces that you may go and fellowship in but the agenda is not God so fellowship is very important it helps you in hello growing in your faith with with God and also helps you in seeing other things that you wouldn't see it helps you with accountability I mean I, I'm a Catholic so many people know that Catholic has a lot of rules and whatnot and one thing that it, it does for you, it, it actually makes you accountable. It actually makes you have people. You don't even need to know them in, personally in order for you to know that there are certain things that you be accountable to if you are going to church more than you would be if you were just one person who is praying alone, journaling alone. It's very important to have those personal encounters with God but it's also very important to gather and be with people. And also, if you are Catholic, you have to actually be a part of a uh, celebration of Mass. And obviously, you can't do that uh, alone. So that's why church is important to me. It's important in basically ensuring that your light is still there. And it also ensures that you are held accountable and it also ensures that you partake in the celebration of the mass as or celebration of whatever service that you guys are celebrating and being a part of that and remembering it together with other people because God says, the Bible says that it's important to do that. There's no other way around it. Jesus used to go alone and pray, but he also gathered and with his uh, disciples. But it is also very important to spend time alone. So what has been my journey with the church? <laughs> so I was born and raised Catholic. Um, 
was baptized in August 1997, christened, or whatever the word is, in 1997, I was three months old, three or four months old. <laughs> That's when I got my Christ, my christening, and thereafter, later, I think I was in grade six, no, I was in grade four, so I was 10. Yeah, I was in grade four, so I was 10 or 11. No, I was 10, grade four, I was 10, because I was nine in grade, yeah, so I was 10, and um, so basically in 2006, I got my first communion and I also got uh, confirmation that year. So that's how I was introduced to the church and that's how I started with the church. Thereafter, I um, went and stayed in Durban for some time where they weren't really going to church. So I wasn't really going to church as much then started going to church, but not in a Catholic church, though they were all Catholic didn't go to a Catholic church, he started going to non, is it, co um, is it called non-dimensionals or is it called a pro Protestant churches, but basically a charismatic church and um, attended that and that's where I started reading the Bible more, that's where I was introduced to the idea of fasting and um, I was glad that I, I, I got that. And the reason why I was not introduced to those things earlier it's, uh, and in my previous years because I started my or did the, uh, the catechism and learning about church at a very young age where I just wanted to tick the boxes basically. That's how that part makes sense that I didn't know much besides the important prayers of the church and all of that. And yeah, so that's where I got to be introduced to that. And I came back. Uh, to South Coast home and I went back to the Catholic Church and I got very much involved in um, I did I didn't leave Catholic Church like, like let, me, let me make that very clear I didn't leave it I just wasn't attending church the my church if I'm at home but when it's Easter's and all of that I'd come back and go to the Catholic Church because that's just my church then um, I started going to came back full time in South Coast, then I started again being a part of being active in the church and that's where I developed my uh, Catholic church. I started understanding a lot of the things that are there because I was serving a lot in the church. I was part of the youth ministry. I did a lot of things like <laughs> I was very much involved and that's where the downfall actually happened. When you are too involved and know a lot of things in the church, in my experience, you sometimes forget. Like, I, my faith was not at a point where I needed to, where I understood routine. As much as this is church, these are still human. And human do, humans do do human things. And they're going to put you off, off guard or catch you off guard if you are not uh, stand, uh, steadfast in your in your faith and you are not that strong in your faith and you'd be like why are these people acting like this and yeah so after some time then obviously there was church hurt and you're like okay lighting what is this yeah okay so there was all of that and that lighting really shocked me there was all of that and then uh i started again drifting away from church youth ministry was now overwhelming and so i decided let me just come down and be at church as a normal person and firstly i just didn't attend church for a very long time thereafter and <laughs> then when i came back after having resigned from like the positions that i had held at church um and all of that i decided to come back and uh just be a, a normal catholic normal person and I did during this time where I was like not participating in the, the things of church would visit other churches trying to figure out if maybe I actually don't like being Catholic and I did I did visit a few different churches and my conclusion has became that 
I prefer the Catholic faith. I prefer it over everything. And I started after some time, especially when I came back, learning and reading and understanding the faith more. And that's how I'm here right now. That's why I'm here right now. And obviously, being a I'm still not part of any like serving things. I am going to church almost every Sunday, especially if I'm here. If I'm not at church, it's because there's a reasonable reason. Like last week I had to go to a wedding and I could not miss my neighbor's wedding because that would have been shady. <laughs> so I um, had to come back. I, I, when I came back, it made, it made sense. Even in Durban, I was attending mass and I think I think if you want to understand, especially as a young black person who maybe was raised at church, Catholic church, and didn't really understand what was going on and want to understand. I'm not trying to convert anyone into a Catholic or convert them back into a Catholic. Maybe go to a, a small uh, church or mission where... There are services during the week and there are many different services and start attending those. You understand and, and don't be don't go to, a, to one that you are there to just make friends. Go there with wanting to understand and wanting to learn and whichever one. Most of these small churches have mass every day. They're supposed to be mass every day because there's, there's a feast every day. So yeah, and you will get to understand your faith if that's what you want to understand. But if you are not part of a church and you are not Catholic but want to go back to church, I would advise that if it means going to a different church, go to that church and just don't try to make friendships or make relationships. Just be there and say, I'm here to want to learn again about God. I'm here to learn again and introduce myself again with God because it's very important to have that light and to have that fire burning and be assisted by the surroundings of other people because what's nice about fellowship with others, there are certain people that have, that would cover you with their anointing that would take you beyond where you are in your faith. And it's very important that you have that. And Mina, that's what church does for me, most importantly. And then, uh, yeah. So with that said, I hope that as we go further, you're going to not just say, I, I'll, I'll do this faith thing alone by journaling, watching YouTube videos. Those are very important. Those are nice. It's nice to have this time alone with God, spend time, get to know God at your personal capacity. But it's also, as I've said, very important to be with other people and be even under their covering because there are certain battles that you can't fight alone. There are certain battles that require prayers of other people. You don't even need to tell them in person, but there are people that would mention the, the, the collect, prayers of a collective. Like we have that at our church and you'd find that maybe that's what's covering you and that's what's pushing you further in your prayer journey. So I would advise that. With that said, uh, happy Easter. Uh, yes, he has risen. Yes, and he's no longer that could not conquer him and that's very nice to know and yeah i uh, hope you have a great week this week and i'll see you next week and there will be a legal video again this week uh stay blessed and have a great week love you lots don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye mm -hmm.